The cave is nothing more than a big video game display, but we use this cave for doing research and training and education. Uh, the screens project images in stereo, just like a 3D movie. So you're getting a right image and a left image simultaneously. We have special glasses that sort out the right and left image, and therefore you see things in 3D. We also have surround sound. The advantage of our cave is that you can also interact with the environment. So we have game players in our games that you can talk to and react to. That gives our game players more immersion in the environment than you would normally have in a 3D movie. CAVE stands for Computerized Automated Visualization Environment. In the work that we're doing on how people navigate through space, we can use games or virtual environments for exploration. I'm particularly interested in how people take clues from their physical environment. What do they use to determine where they've been and where they want to go? And what we find out in working with students in these virtual environments is that they take a lot of clues, not only from the physical space, but also from the content that we don't normally associate with physical space, like sound and people talking. The way the test is going to be ultimately constructed is that individuals will be in an MRI. They will be wearing a pair of glasses or probably a mirror. And then onto that mirror, we're going to project a, a series of animations. Okay, we're then going to be recording, in a sense, their brain functions as they go through these uh, animations. So then we'll be able to compare the animations second by second with the response from the MRI. 